I understand your point, and uh, we've talked before this meeting. Correct. And right now, I can tell you that <coughs> overall staff split on how to handle your access. There was one staff member who thought that maybe access could be addressed through an additional condition on the property. And then the rest of staff, the other six members, actually voted to approve the request without that condition because they thought your access could be handled at the permitting stage. When they went and actually approved and went to try to build the subdivision, the county engineer would actually require some additional improvements to that access, no matter how many units they built. And so I, I think that's the answer. Right now we show y'all having a shared easement for all those property owners to access and go over the railroad track at a certain point, either 25 lots or 30 lots, they would have to address an additional point of access. It's not likely that that additional point of access would be over that railroad track. Um, regulations are gonna require that it's at least about 1,100 feet away from the existing point. And so that's gonna be a development issue that they have to deal with. If the Planning Commission or County Commission so chose they could put an additional condition on there to try to get ahead of that issue. But at this time, staff's overall recommendation was uh, to move forward without that condition. Uh, it's going to go 